They said, go out into the highways and the byways and compel them to come in for everything is now ready. Because God says, I'm, I'm, I've seen what you've done. I've seen you. And because I've seen you, you'll stand before me forever. Start off this morning with Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Hello everyone, this is Kingsley. I'm in a hotel called the Magnolia Hotel in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. I arrived here last night and I'm here for my conference, which apparently this is the 18th year that I've been doing that. At least that's what they tell me. So every year I come, I have a hundred leaders and we go through the word of God together. And God always does amazing things for us here and for them. So I'm thankful for that. Anyway, my ministry, our Kathy and my ministry is called the, the J16, the Joshua Project. We were pastoring for many years, worked in the Methodist Church, worked in the Baptist Church in the Northeast of England. I had developed a course through a long process of God speaking to me through people coming up to me, talking about the book of Joshua. And I called it the Joshua Project, a training program to release people into their ministry based on the first six chapters of the book of Joshua. I was traveling and I was also pastoring. One day in my office when I was particularly tired and I, I was crying out to God and I just just opened my Bible to the book of Joshua chapter 1 and it just flew at me. God spoke to me through verses 14 and 15. It's the two and a half tribes who didn't live across the Jordan. God spoke to them and, and said, yes, you can have your territory this side of the Jordan. But this is what he said to me. Go across this Jordan, help your brothers possess their land. And when you've done that, you can go home. I shut my Bible and realized that I could no longer do pastoring and traveling. And so I resigned as a pastor and we moved out by faith. It's going to places. I don't have a vision for Pakistan or for Ethiopia or Ghana or Tanzania or Guatemala, but I'm working with people who do. And that's what God's told me to do. Help my brothers possess their land. I have a little video, just a, a, few, a few minutes of a guy who came to me. I don't always have a camera in my hand when people come and say thank you for the ministry. But I did on this particular occasion in 2015, I was here in Ethiopia and a man came up to me and said he wanted just to give a testimony. And Menelik, my interpreter, he interpreted as he spoke to me. So I stuck my camera on. And really this is what our ministry is all about. Taking people who are have a vision from God, but maybe they get tired and God wants to revitalize their lives again. So have a little watch. I've been pastoring a church for the past 31 years, 25, uh, 24 years in the ministry. I'm in the book. In the past two weeks, I had allowed others to write their story on my life. I decided to stop my ministry. And I wrote a letter to the church, a letter of resignation, and, I, and it's like I gave up. I, could not, I thought I could not continue in the church anymore, and I, it, it was a lot of disgraceful things. I, I, they, they put disgrace on my life and I agreed that. I agreed with that, so my heart went down and uh, there was a lot of sorrow on my part and my wife's part. When I was invited to this ministry, and God lifted up my soul because of this way, and I decided to rewrite my story again, even if uh, nobody else benefited from this work. I have benefited I, I thought I should tell this before I raise my back again. Now I give an open book back to my father to give my story, to write my story again. My child, my knees are strengthened now. My broken spirit is mended. Thank you. <laughs> That's really, in a nutshell, what the Joshua Project is. It starts off with whatever people want me to do in the country I go to. It was prisons here when I first came to Ethiopia. It was an orphanage and, and digging wells and stuff in Ghana, helping my friends in Guatemala. But this last few years, it really has been setting up 
particularly conferences with pastors and leaders and evangelists and bringing them a word from the Lord and seeing them set free in that word. And that's what's happened. I've been just amazed how God has done that. Years ago, I said to him when I did two trips one summer when I was training for the ministry in Belfast and they were both good trips, I said, Lord, if that's all I ever do, then I'll be happy. And God has taken me at my word. And so I feel that God has caused us to hit the target wherever we go in these different places and just bring a word from God to the people. So that's what our ministry is. And that's what we want to just share with you this morning. So God bless you. Thank you for the opportunity of sharing that with you this morning. Thank you most of all that you pray for us so regularly. Listen, we appreciate that more than anything. So God bless you today.